By the time we arrived at the site of the collapsed building, military police had deployed around the area to guard against any more injuries. Shortly after this, Kampala Lord Mayor Area Sukwago arrived on site. The engineers should be arrested. The supervisor should be arrested. They should be prosecuted. That's the only way we can fight impunity in this country. Buildings are collapsing day in, day out, but no action is being taken. He highlighted what he claimed was the laxity of the engineers in doing their job, especially in approving building plans. We are going to plug the loopholes within the system of processing plans and approving the same. Because we know there was a, a problem with approval of the plan. But previously, we didn't have the opportunity of sitting on that committee. But with the amendment of the law regarding approval of plans, building plans, a slot was provided for the executive led by the Lord Mayor to have a representative on that board. Previously, it was all a technical team affair. We are rolling out a program to inspect the legality and illegality of all the constructions in the city. So we are appealing to everyone who is carrying out a const any constructions, put on table all the legal documents which allows you to make that construction. Otherwise, if you don't have them, we are coming to you and we are going to apply the law. Lukwago has since then directed the team to put down the structure next to the collapsed building, claiming it may be unsafe. A layman's assessment will show you that this one is also a danger in waiting. It's a catastrophe in waiting. We cannot wait to lose other people here. And unfortunately, that has been left to the building review board. I think they have findings eh, on that. But uh, in most cases, it has been the material that is used. Many of uh, the uh, material they use is sub substandard. And uh, if they use standard ones, they use less. So I think they can give more details about that. Raymond Tamale, NTV.